Hi and welcome guys back to the channel. I'm glad to say that we're in the workshop again. And as you can see in the clickbait, we're gonna do a lot of audience stall in the back of the G. So it's finally time. We got a bunch of stuff from the upholstery guys. They made an amazing job. And we're gonna go through quite in detail how we're gonna mount everything and how I'm doing that. The previous videos of the builds, you can see it, I'm gonna put a pin up here. But of course, we're gonna focus on installing the Sarme Vega amplifiers. We're gonna install the subwoofer box with the subwoofer, of course. We're gonna install the sound processor and I've cheated a bit, I thought I was a bit boring for you to see, but we're gonna go directly on to the cable management that I've done in the G, so we're gonna jump right into it. To start off, we have our low signal cables, we have our, our speaker cables in the same routing, as far away we can from the power cable that we have here. So I've routed the power cable all the way on this side, we're gonna pop it up of course to the battery section here so that's the power cable we put that on this side going up against the quarter panel and going through in the back a very important tip for you is don't route your signal cables and the speaker cables close to any power cables that you have in the car that's why i choose to have the signal cables and the speaker cables in the middle because on the other side we have a lot of main power cables uh, that's OEM. Uh, so I choose to have everything in the middle and then I chose to route the power cable on the right side of the car because uh, that's closest to the battery. If you're gonna go anywhere close to a power cable with your speaker cables and the low signal cable, you can cross a power cable, that's no problem, but don't put it aligned with the power cables. Then you can have the problem of getting that whine in your speakers from the alternator. I don't think I'm gonna talk too much now. I just wanna say, please stick around. Uh, some of the footage is old with an old camera, so uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, off we go to the beautiful installation of the audience doll in the G37. We're gonna begin with these. Uh, I think it's cable buzzes. We're gonna mount at the sides to be able to get, get through with the cables. Uh, I'm gonna cut a hole and I, of course I'm gonna take a bunch of uh, silicone so the air won't go through here. I'm actually gonna show you how I'm doing the threads and all the wood. You can actually get them in M4s, M2, M3s in big varieties of sizes. So it looks like this. We actually have threads for bolts and then we're gonna drill four holes install these um, wooden threads. Many have actually been asking me how I've done this. They have it on Harbor Freight, Bauhaus and Hornbach and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna link it down below. But as I said, you just screw them in, in the proper hole that you actually drill out in the wood. And then you actually have threads for your bolts. So it's super easy. Uh, it takes a couple of tries to actually get it perfect. Guys, uh, cut out the whole perfect fitment there. I'm gonna try to get this straight and then I'm actually gonna just mark the four holes, drill uh, the holes for the um, wooden threads and it's super simple. As you saw in the time lapse, uh, everything's actually mounted. Came out super slick. Unscrew these, 
put the cables in and then we have uh, the block on the inside and we actually connect uh, the two cables plus and minus uh, to each uh, pin and then we actually connect it to the subwoofer that easy it's already uh, done on the other side it actually looks like this so i just sealed it off on the uh, i guess on the inside and then also on the outside just to be sure you can actually see it's nice bolted with four bolts and they work perfect so guys first of all i'm just gonna say a huge thank you to bjorn at dbqten and of course we're gonna go for Zervin Vega and we're gonna go for the stroker kit uh, we actually connected already I'm gonna turn it over this is a 2 ohm double spool uh, subwoofer and we're gonna go down to 1 ohm uh, on the amplifier so what we're gonna do from our power block we're going from positive down to the subwoofer to the positive here and then over to the next positive on here what we're gonna do then is actually take the negative side from here over to the other side and then actually connect it to the block. But we're actually gonna install these in the nice subwoofer box and hopefully we can get the subwoofer box into the car tonight because I'm so eager to actually see how it looks. So we're just gonna pop this in or pop. They weigh a ton. So I'm training right now, but let's put this in in the subwoofer box and then into the car. My battery is soon gonna die, but I just wanted to show you I'm actually preparing the compressors for the air suspension and I have made a mount in here uh, So three holes, uh, but I actually put some sound deadening just to be sure to not get too much vibration I actually did exactly the same on the plate that I um, mounted the compressors on just going to show you how the plate looks <laughs> i actually did these holes just for cooling and then we have the wire compressors uh, on the plate and i actually took off the labeling from the compressors i actually think this looks really really good but as you can see the whole plate i have sound deadening on So, uh, the next stage is integrating a plexiglass flooring that I had a vision about. But I actually got a huge help out from a friend. The company is called Ropab or Rop AB here in Sweden. And they actually helped me out CNC mill out the plexiglass. The plexiglass fits perfect to the flooring done in the car. But I want to integrate some LEDs or RGB lights and i wanted to do a groove so here's the plexiglass and it looks awesome but it looks even better in the car enough talking so here we actually have the plexiglass as you can see it's actually cut out in the shape that i made from the beginning i actually had my template from the wood and then we actually transferred that to a cad file and uh, they programmed it into the uh, machine they had and they actually cut out everything perfect so what I actually did now, I just took my milling machine and I did a slot. So as you can see here, I took this one on the sides and now I actually have a slot whole way around here. As you can see here, in the slot we're actually going to put the LEDs now. So I got the LEDs here and as you can see, I actually want the uh, RGB to fit in the slot like this. So I think we're going to hot glue this into the slot and then connect it and try it out 
in the car if it gives the effect that I want it to. I have a lot of dark suede in there, so I want to light it up with some cool RGBs. And that's going to be like connected to all the lights through the whole car that you're going to see in the end results. And the cable management is almost finished uh, before we put every layer on layer on layer in this compartment but the cable management is almost done and as I told you before keep your power cables as far away from the uh, speaker cables and no low signal as possible so you can see I clamped everything down with some cable clamps and of course some stripes you can also see that I have uh, fuse holders, so I got a split. I got two fuses for every amp So the first one is gonna go to this one Then we're gonna have the second layer of amp is gonna be floating up here. So we have the uh, cables here for that one and Exactly the same thing here. So we have a split from from one cable to two cables and everything goes back to here where we have all the fuse management that I need for everything in the back and what I mean for everything is for the compressors uh, for the um, airlift system we have we have a big 90 amp charger here from Diabacutan so they sell these Stensum uh, 90 amps chargers and that also goes back to the main fuse holder. We're gonna have a bunch of RGB lights in here and the whole compartment. So that's also fused up. Everything's gonna be fused up. We're also gonna have the sound processor hanging on the right side. So that needs a fuse too. So everything needs a fuse. And of course the main cable that goes up to the uh, battery section back there is gonna have a fuse. We don't wanna damage any of these sound components. They are super expensive. I guess it's time to do the layer on layer on layer. We have magnets all around these panels. Why these brackets are in here is that the magnets just click in right to the position where we want it. And so we just mount it like this, goes in there. Then the next side, same here, the procedure. I have double magnets here, one there, all around the panels. And then of course you have the brackets there are installed we also have magnets on the sides and what it does is that it gets a snug and perfect fitment you can hear the magnets just sticking on there like that almost done almost done guys hope bear with me yes i have a lot of panels this is the beauty panel in front of the subwoofer box and we're gonna connect this. One of the surprises I got for you. Let's see if we can get the beauty panel in. Like that. And then this one. And the magnets, boom. 
Oh, this is nice. Like that. That goes in there. And last, we have the beauty panel. And here you can also see that I screwed on the magnets in the center. So I made space for the magnet, as you can see. And then I just bolted or screwed it in. But I have um, glued them in for extra safety that they will stick. So one, two, three, four. And then we have the brackets on the inside. And let's see if it clicks in. Oh, yes. Click, click, click. But I've set up a little quick fix here with a battery and here you can see the fuse holder that oh. oh wow guys dude i don't know what to say all right i'm gonna let the video talk for itself um, and please guys please i put in so much time to this please comment in the comment section below what do you think but wow this came out so much better than i thought i had a vision in my mind it looks sweet damn so in three two one So this is the end and I'm so pumped to see the, the, the back compartment of the car. I can't just wait to see the rest of the interior come together. Well, please guys, what do you think? I put so much time and effort into this build of the audio system. Please comment in the comment section below. And if you are actually interested in more in detail how I mounted everything, I could do special video. But I need to know how many ones to see that process. Otherwise, I don't see putting in all their effort making a video with the process of mounting the magnets or doing the things with the wooden threads and so on and forth. Guys. I'm super, super happy with the audience though. I hope you enjoyed today's content and further on, we're gonna keep on moving with this car to our end goal and getting it finished. And as I always say, have a good morning, good evening or good night, wherever you are. Edo, peace.